this recording will talk about power. Remember what volt is. A one volt is a joule per coulomb. J over C. Remember also that amps or the current is coulombs per second. So if you have one volt and one amp, and you multiply them by each other, you get joules over seconds. Joules over second is the unit of power or watts. So electrical power is voltage times current. You are familiar with the unit power. Uh, I mean with the unit watt. Whenever you buy a light bulb, you have a different wattage light bulb. That's what you usually select. A 100 watt light bulb or 50 watt light bulb and so on. Now, the wattage tells us of the power that the light bulb, uh, that the light bulb is capable of delivering. It does not tell us of the energy used by that light bulb. To find the energy used by the light bulb, we need to multiply the power by the time. For example, a 50 watt light bulb used for two seconds is going to result an amount of energy used as 100 joules. So, uh, to find energy, we need to multiply power by time. Uh, in your electrical bill, they bill you not on joules, because if they bill you with joules, you are going to get a bill that's going to uh, include a huge number. What they do, they devised another unit for energy that they call kilowatt hours. What's a kilowatt hour? A kilowatt hour is kilowatts for power, so it's a thousand watts, and hour is 3600 seconds. So to find the energy from joules into kilowatt hours, you need to divide by a thousand for the kilowatts, and you need to, uh, you need to divide by 3600 for the hour. Uh, so kilowatt hour is a much smaller number than joules. Okay, now. What? So, if our definition for power is V times I. And remember the relationship between voltage and current across any element that has a resistance R is given by V is equal to I R. So, by combining both of these, we can find out that we can express power as well as I squared times R. Or V squared over R. Either one of these is the same expression as the top one. What's the benefit of having these expressions written differently? Okay. The benefit is, if we have the same current, we can find the power due to different resistors very easily this way, without having to calculate the voltage every time. Or we know the voltage, if we have the same voltage, we can calculate very easily the power due to different resistors using this expression without having to calculate the current. Now, power is dissipated whenever we have a current and a voltage, V times I. It does not matter which one it is. Whenever we have a current, Whenever we have a voltage, we have power. We dissipate power.